So that, that's the Mark X. Then this one, uh, definitely very different from the Mark X. So, so, so this is this is our new Metal X. We're debuting it new at the show. Uh, what it does is it's a similar idea to our composite technology, where on the composite you have continuous strands of fiber encased in plastic that you then like remelt to make this carbon fiber parts. Here we have a, a powder encased in plastic that you melt into layer by layer to build your part. And then when that when the part's fully built, you take it out and you and you uh, center it in an oven where you burn off the plastic and the and the metal uh, diffusion bonds together. And we call it a atomic diffusion uh, additive manufacturing, which describes how the little spheres like shrink together. So the shrinking is it consistent across different part geometries or how, how does that how do you plan for that? It's it's consistent and then we have some uh, and then the software does a little bit of analysis for where it places where it's not. So price point on a machine like this because metal 3D printing people hear that they start thinking you know quarter million dollars, half million dollars. So this this one's ninety nine thousand, uh, this one's sixty nine thousand or you can buy the bundle for one forty nine. And so right now, it's just one type of metal with the uh, with the uh, the metal X, or are there more metals in in process or planning? Or so it's currently it currently prints uh, stainless steel seventeen four, which is what this is, and then three hundred three, and then beta we have sixty sixty one and seven seventy five aluminum, as well as uh, titanium six four, uh, tool steels A two D two and M two, uh, and then Inconel six twenty five. So rocket, it's quite a quite a variety. So, this is shipping today or fall. When a few customers have them already, the uh, and a few more betas will go out in Q2. But uh, the production units will go out in September. Um, I think you were mentioning earlier before we were filming this, but the uh, with the metal 3D printing, you're able to do internal channels. Yeah. So one of the uh, one of the unique things about this new process is that uh, this this entire brake lever is hollow. So we can actually uh, create this honeycomb pattern and print over it, which is not something you can do in a powder bed process. In a powder bed, this thing would be full of powder. You'd encase the powder in, so you'd have the weight, but because the powder is not melted, you have no strength, right? Because we're depositing material otherwise in air, uh, you can make these hollow sections that are printed over, right? So this would this is like 50% air. We're making it 50% lighter than it would otherwise be. Right, and less material cost. Less material cost right. and faster printing. All right, very cool. Well, Greg, I want to thank you for taking the time to talk to me, show me these printers. Very cool stuff. This is, I know 2016 was a big year for you guys. I think 2017 is going to be really fun to watch. It's going to be a fun year. All right, thanks again.